What's up guys, Legend of Renegade here. Um, what I'm going to do right now is make a really basic tutorial on how to use VOPM. I see a lot of comments on my page, people saying like, how do you use it and all that, saying they're having trouble with it. So, I'm not the perfect person to make this, I'm not a master of it yet, but I'll hopefully I'll show you how to use it well. Yeah. So, alright, let's go. Okay, so, let me go to my... FL Studio, open that up. Let me open up a project I was just working on. Okay, if, we, if you can't read that from there, that's the Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. Alright, so I'm assuming you've already installed VOPM at this point and put it into your FL Studio folder and all that. So, yeah, this is just basically how to use it. It's not how to install it. But um, maybe I'll make another video for that if I feel like it. Anyway, okay, this is the project here see all the channels and everything um, actually wait hold on a second let me take these headphones out yeah that's better hopefully you can still hear me but um alright so what I'm gonna do you can see these are all sound fonts, Genesis sound fonts, playing sounds already here. What you want to do is open up VOPM, is go to channels up here, click on add one. Wait, let me stop this up. Shut up. Click on add one, and it should be like around here somewhere. This is where it is on mine. Yeah, click on that. It's the way I do it anyway. I don't know if there's a quicker or easier way. See, it opens up here. And if you follow the instructions I put on the link in the description for this video, for the old video that I did, like I give you links on how to download all of these OPM files, which are these files here that have the sounds to the games. But yeah, um, let's see. All right, let me swap swap this organ sound here. This is it here? Organ. Turn this up a bit right, so you can hear that. Alright, so what number was it at? 10. What you want to do is VOPM is quite low by default. You want to turn it all the way up here and turn it down here. And also, you want to move the octave down because for some reason it starts out at a higher octave All right. go to plug in here to open it and close it and shit click on import uh, let me go to streets of rage just because it will fit with this Go straight, why not? Alright, um, so this is go straight, it's been loaded now. See what I mean about it being really quiet? So this knob down here controls the volume, the main output volume, I think. If you drag that down, it can be hard, dan like dangerously loud if you drag it down all the way, so let's just leave it there for now. This controls. The, the main I don't know the the correct te um, terminology for all of these what these not what these letters mean what they actually mean but I know what some of them do so yeah this is the one you're gonna want to use most of the time on the top left here M1 changes how the instrument sounds like that the further down you go usually the more distorted it is the further up the smoother the sound gets and um, it's again similar less harsh when you move it up same thing here with M2 down here this one is the release time I think depends on the instrument but say you've got a trumpet and you want it to sweep and you drag this down and it'll go like that but anyway um, let's change that instrument so I'm in go straight now go to import Actually, sorry. Click, click on this um, 
little arrow thing up here you see presets and there's 13 presets here for this instrument that's quite a lot usually there's about five yeah it starts out by default on instrument zero move it down to one different turn it up and as you see every time you change the instrument that volume thing goes back up to the default some of them sound quite similar this is Streets of Rage 2 so some of the sounds are going to be quite harsh like that it's actually FM so sometimes you'll get a lot of snares in there and stuff alright what was that song that has an organ hold on a second Little Money Avenue Look for that percussive organ. There it is. Have a good time. Shake that. Hear that drop? That shit was epic. Sega! Look at this shit, sir. Alright, next instrument now. The bass. Actually, let me do the saw. Sawtooth wave, which is which saw is short for if you didn't know that. Just saw two. Alright, where's the starting up here? There we go. See, what will happen sometimes, you see this weird glitch where you won't hear anything, and that just means the plugins crashed. Really annoying. It happens a lot when you have a lot of things open like this. Look at this, so many channels open. So when that happens, you just gotta close it and open another one and try just keep trying until it stays put. I'll show you how to modulate the sound too. Let me do that. So this, I'll do the bass, let me do the bass, ten, dun, dun, dun. see look it's done it again, oh, no, I import, to too deep. Hear that bass? And you can rename it too if you want, like that. But every time you change the instrument, that name will change like that. But anyway, yeah, let's go. So this is the bass. If you want to change um, the way the instrument acts, so that's a bit loud. The way the instrument acts, like wait. Um, this is a pitch modulation, I think. That's what it stands for. Uh, usually, the high when it goes over seven, it usually gets a bit extreme. But basically, let's put it on seven for now, just for an example. Attack modulation, I think that is. Um, frequency. That's LFO. This here. And then I don't know what these stand for, but this usually goes up there. I'll put this up to about 7 and you'll start hearing it make a difference. You hear that? How it's more wobbly and stuff. You can do that for, it's, that's really good for lead instruments if you want to give it more, you know. Look at that. That sounds weird and creepy, but 
just gotta be, you just gotta modulate it. This too changes the whole sound. I don't know what it stands for, but. That's most of the basics covered. I mean, like, this is absolute basics I'm showing you right now. Um, I'm not really sure what else to show. All of these things here. Pitch bend, I'm not really sure how to do myself yet. So I'm going to leave that. Obviously, I don't have a MIDI keyboard, so yeah. Let me see. Presets. Yeah, let me show you what some of the other knobs do. So I've got this organ here. This, I think, this is sustain, which means how long the instrument is held down for. So you can hear it. it Act different when you move it. Right, this one will help hold down a little bit longer. Um, this is another kind of modulation. Makes the instrument sound completely different the more you move it. Down here sounds like an organ, and up here sounds like a bell. These all the same thing changes the sound of the instrument. So these ones all here, I'm not 100% sure what they do and all this stuff up here. So yeah, I'm not really the best person to give you an in-depth tutorial on how to use this thing. But hopefully you know how to use it to a basic level now. I mean, it looks scary at first, but it's actually not that hard to use. So that. Uh, Actually, let me go backwards now.